All right, I just spent $3,500 getting my mobile detailing van wrapped. Was it a waste of money? Let's find out. All right, so as I get ready to work on this brand new Z08, thought I'd let you know a quick disclaimer. I am very happy with the way my wrap turned out. It looks beautiful. We did some photo shoots by the lake with it. I'm very happy with it. However, it was three and a half thousand dollars, which is a big investment. So was that money actually worth it? And will that money be back in my pocket because of the advertising? Let's find out. So there's really only two reasons why you would need to get your van wrapped. One is for advertising and two is for brand image. Now they both might sound like they're the same, but they are very, very different. And I wrapped my van for one reason, not for the other. All right, advertising is going to be your ability to attract new customers through your business when they see you driving on the road, when they see you with other clients, and brand image is going to be your ability to keep clients that you already have. So let me first cover advertising. When I first got that thing wrapped about a week after it was wrapped, there was a guy that tried to flag me down in traffic. I couldn't stop because I didn't really see him. And then he pulled in behind me, called me on the phone, was like, hey, I'm behind you in traffic, and he booked. Now that detail was about $190. So $190 compared to $3,500 for the wrap is not a whole lot. So it's gonna take me a long time to actually build that money back. So I've come to the conclusion that the wrap itself is not as good for personal advertising as it is for personal branding. All right, so personal branding, the real reason why I spent the kind of money that I did to wrap my van. Once I'm able to secure a client, usually on Google, sometimes social media, I wanna keep them around. And part of the experience is the professionalism that I am able to present as soon as I ring their doorbell. If they see my wrapped van fully decked out with my full setup, they're going to feel like they're in better hands than if I were to pull up in a Honda Civic and pull a vacuum out of the trunk, pull a pressure washer out of the back seat. Now that doesn't mean that you can't start a mobile detailing business in that way. I started out of my mom's SUV, but at the end of the day, you need a way to separate yourself from the other detailers. This business is one where anyone can start. I started with $500. So you and the guy across the street that started his business have no real differentiation at the beginning. You have to build that for yourself, whether that's how you dress, how you speak with the client, how you communicate before your appointments, the interface on your website, or the vehicle in which you're arriving in. And the main reason why I think you should wrap the van for personal branding instead of advertising is this. This is the kind of service that someone has to be thinking about in order to book. You can't just drive through a crowded street and expect every single person or even half or even 10% of the people on that street to want your service just based on the fact that you're in the area. This is the kind of service that someone has to seek out. They have to have a problem and you have to have the solution. If they think, oh, my car's dirty, they're going to go online and they're going to search for a car detailer. They don't get prompted to think about car detailing just by your van. Please do not see this as an advertising move for your business. There are other ways that you can advertise and get more ROI on your investment than wrapping a van. This cost $3,500 for me. It's probably gonna take me all year before that money is made back by the wrap. The ways in which I get business are my website, which I pay for every single week. I use Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, which I pay for every single week. These are better places to put your money in if you have little to try and grow. But if you have a lot of money, it is a smart move to build a personal brand for yourself. But please do not buy an investment like this 
until your business is already producing over 10K a month. I promise you, it is not the first move for your business. You should start by advertising on Google, by building your website, by getting SEO, by getting ranked on the first page, and by building out your products and your services before you drop the kind of money that I dropped on this fan. All right, so as I finish up applying a ceramic dressing to the tires and rims, wanted to run over what we just covered. In my opinion, there are much better uses of your money to start out. Even if your business has started to do quite well, if you are not past the 10K a month mark, I really don't think that it's a worthwhile investment. Because like I said, you would get more return on your ad spend if you advertised in other ways than buying a wrap. Sure, it is a, it is a billboard that you can drive around, but like I said, a lot of people in this industry need to already know that they want the service. You can't just pull up and start advertising in front of their face and expect to get a booking from that. But as I said about personal branding, I think long-term, this is absolutely key. So would I get my van wrapped? Absolutely, I did. Would I have waited a little bit longer? Maybe. I got it wrapped after I hit the 10K a month mark. But I think maybe it might have been worth waiting just a little bit longer, saved my money, used it on a different marketing strategy, and gotten it wrapped later. All right, so that's part one about the van with the wrap. Um, but I am in the process of building out the back with my custom mobile detailing setup. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure that you give the video a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, because that's where that build out is gonna be taking place. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.